Hey y'all, welcome back. We're over at Rich's place today, uh, measuring all his uh, his clutch plates and discs for his horseman clutch for the vintage cart here. Um, we've been talking with uh, John Ritchie, spending some time uh, emailing him back and forth, asking questions. I guess he's uh, a supplier for parts for one, and, and nothing but good things we hear uh, about John uh, being being the guy, right, when it comes to the, the old school horseman clutch, any horseman clutch for that matter. But um, So we're done with that. I, I've already gone through all of mine. I know what I'm going to need for mine. I figure we'll, we'll just get everything ordered up and, 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 uh, and done all at the same time. Um, Mine, obviously, for the, the Yama Dog, right? We're, we're planning on taking that to Gingerman in about four weeks. Uh, the F-125 as well, which brings us to the old seat form, foaming up a new comfortable seat that fits me that'll be flat bottom, so it'll sit low in the car, help me sit lower in the cart. And um, we're going we're gonna to have Rich pour the foam, mix and pour the foam this weekend, uh, tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, which is Saturday the 6th. Um, Few things I need uh, I need to do, but I need another. I need Rich here. I got to lay in here and put this piece of foam here. This is what we mixed up uh, just to see the expansion rate, and so Rich could see what it looked like, so he knew what to expect because he's never mixed this foam before. And uh, yeah, it's just part A, part B. You mix it up, but it's expensive, and if you waste this stuff. Um, you know, you can't just go down to the corner store and buy some more, but you got to go back to the supply house. So um, this is probably going to be behind my shoulders. I'm not sure how far, how much room that's going to leave us between, uh, you know, I'm going to be in here with a helmet on. Um, we're probably going to have to cut some of the wood out of the back of this here uh, to clear for a, um, basically, the what was the old headrest shelf, right? The, uh, the part of the seat that we built a little riser for to go behind the back of our helmet to keep our helmet down. Uh, also put the, uh, the water bottle, uh, the filler bottle, an expansion tank for the water system behind the headrest as well. So that has to sit up there. So we have to have a shelf to lay glass on after we cut and clean up the foam um, and, and, and get the, the form of the seat. So we, can, we could probably fudge that in. Um, but it doesn't make any sense. I mean, we, while we're pouring the foam, we may as well get it so the foam comes right up behind my helmet as I'm sitting looking straight forward with the helmet. Probably as, as, as far down as we can get because that's how we want to sit, you know, with our helmet down um, and forcing the back of that up with, with the seat just like we were before. But this will be all one piece instead of having to add anything to it. Really, all we'll have to do is add padding for comfort. Um, so that's it. Just playing around over here, trying to get things in order. Uh, Rich will be home in a little while, but I think tomorrow, after when he gets home from work, um, I'll come over with the helmet. We'll probably get a better idea of what's going on back here, what we need to do in the back. Probably just uh, cut a piece out and, and just uh, tape and glue some cardboard back in there to allow the foam to, to run onto. Uh, then we got a cut out for my legs as well. Um, we're going to send the seat a little bit further forward of the nut bar because between the nut bar and the tie rods is on my cart here is um, a Tupperware with the with the micron brain in it, right? Uh, the box and then of course in front of that is another Tupperware with the battery pack that runs the water pump uh, at the power shifter and all that stuff on the cart. So we, we don't want to we don't want to be flat down so flat down that we're nice and low and then we've got these Tupperware containers that are anywhere between two and three four inches tall uh, Beating up the back of our legs, right? So we'd rather have a natural rise to the seat that sends our legs up and over it Trust me. I think I've done this once or twice before I, I, I think I got a good handle on it. So that's it We'll bring you some more uh, tomorrow as we're doing it um, Hopefully rich can you know figure out how to run this camera and he can take pictures uh, movies while I'm in here too And we'll get you guys some videos um, and it's been a few days since the old storage unit, but I've been over there working on the secret project and, and I've got about five videos in the can for that already. Um, those won't be coming until the cart's done. So um, I'm smiling because I'm pretty excited about what's happening over there. It looks pretty cool. So uh, don't worry to take it, send me down. I'm going to bring it to you. You're just going to have to wait until it's done. So from RPM East over here on uh, the east end of, of Ivanhoe in Roseville, uh, I'm Robert and I'm all by myself right now, but I got all of you. 
and we're hanging out having fun it'll get better y'all i'm praying for you hang in there